Farero, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today I'm going to show you how to restore an object from Amazon Simple Storage Service Glacier or S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. Monitor the restore status and change the storage class for a restored object to a different storage class. Let's get started. First, open the AWS CLI on your environment. Before you enter any command, be sure that you have configured your AWS CLI with the correct credentials. If you encounter any errors when running the command, be sure that your AWS CLI command is entered correctly and you are using the most recent version of the AWS CLI. Now, initiate a command to restore an object that's in Amazon S3 Glacier or Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. For this, let's use the restore object command. Be sure that you replace parallel AWS KC video bucket and dir forward slash example object with your own values. You can replace this value with your desired number of days that you want the restore object to be available for or use a different restore tier. In this case, let's use the expedited tier, which usually completes the request in one to five minutes. Please note that the expedited tier is not available on Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. You can monitor your restore status by running the head object command. If the restore request is still in progress after you've run the command, you receive a response similar to the following. If the restore request is complete, you receive a response similar to the following. Note the expiry date and storage class in the response. The expiry date shows that your temporary copy will be available until the date specified. This means that you have until that date to access your temporary copy before it becomes unavailable. Note, storage class will still show Glacier or Deep Archive even after you have successfully restored an object. Because when you restore an object, that object is not moved from Glacier or Deep Archive storage class. Instead, a temporary copy is created for the archived object. To change the object storage class from S3 Glacier to another storage class, this command overrides the object that's in Glacier or Deep Archive storage class and set the storage class to standard. If your bucket is versioned, then this command results in two copies of the same object. It's a best practice that you suspend versioning before running the command to avoid being built for two copies of the same object when you only need one. And now you know how to restore an object from Amazon S3 Glacier or S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. Monitor the restore status and change the storage class for a restored object to a different storage class. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Oh, 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 oh,